Okay, sit yourself onto your left and come into a good cross leg position. So a little wiggle about, make sure that you feel even. So just feel that you are sitting evenly. Hold onto your knees, lift up into the chest, elevate the heart area upwards, drawing your shoulders down away from your ears. Just spend a few moments listening to the breath. Maybe close your eyes just to focus your attention on the sound of your breath. Observe the length of the breath. Observe which is longer, the in-breath or the out-breath. Observe how you are storing the air in the lungs. Are you filling the lungs evenly and then emptying them fully? Or are you filling them unevenly and then partially emptying. So that's pretty normal to only partially empty the lungs. Just observe how your natural breath is and just take a few deeper inhalations Just focusing on filling the lungs from the bottom to the top, filling both lungs evenly and exhale from the top to the bottom, exhaling from both lungs evenly. Not necessarily breathing until the lungs are empty, just observing that action of filling and emptying the lungs. Open your eyes, look at something that isn't moving. Maintain the conscious movement of the breath, the conscious observation of the breath, but keep your eyes still in the sockets. Bring your hand into Namaste. Lengthen your armpits from your elbows, your elbows from your armpits. Squeeze the elbows into the heels of the hands, the heels of the hands into the fingertips. And with an exhalation, Allow your eyes to gently close, keeping your head stationary. Continue to observe the breath. Perhaps beginning to take deeper inhalations. Just bring in your energy into the body with the in-breath. Aim to make the in-breath non-resistant because the body absorbs more energy from the breath when the lungs maintain their elasticity, when they are softer, when they expand without resistance. Observe your body's natural response to lift and open the chest and allow that to happen. Assist it.
Gently draw your chin down to meet your chest with an out breath. Lift your chin to meet your chest. So Jalandra Banda. Just observe the in breath and the out breath as you seek to generate a genuine heartfelt sense of gratitude for something or someone or somewhere. Hold on to that feeling of abundance in the heart area. And then gently release the backs of your hands down towards your knees, palms facing upwards. Just have the tip of the index finger in contact with the tip of the thumb. Just a gesture of wisdom and intelligence and peacefulness that we can carry with us into our practice as an intention. Maintaining our observation using our body's intelligence within the pose to recognize the pose, to bring in former learning from the pose. Bring your attention into the present moment. And then raise your head, allow your eyes to softly open and the focus to softly come back. Just hold onto your knees, lift up into your heart area, drawing your shoulders down away from your ears. Draw your chin forward and down morning Andrew nice to see you how are you doing bring the chin down to meet the chest keeping the shoulders down away from your ears just lengthening the shoulders away from the ears just to stretch out the back of the neck take a deep inhalation and with the exhalation, bring the chin up to meet the ceiling. If there's any reason why you don't stretch the chin up, then just keep the chin down, or you can just bring the chin just to a stationary level. Take a deep inhalation in through the nose. And then bring the chin back down to meet the chest. So just always working with your own body, with your own ability and staying in contact with the feeling of the pose. So if you know that a pose has an adverse effect for you, then you just soften it or alter it, alter the action, bring it into the ceiling. Shoulders down away from the ears, or just vary that position so that it works for your body. So for some people, lifting the neck like this can make you feel a bit sick. So just do whatever, just look forwards, look down or turn your head from one side to the other. Bring the chin down to meet the chest. And then just come back to the centre. Drawing your shoulders down away from your ears. And then bring your right ear down to the right shoulder. But keeping the shoulders away from the ears. So you get this tremendous stretch along the left side of the neck. A nice little sinus um, bonus is if you just... Look up a little. So 
So if you're suffering from sinus problems, just have the head over to the side and then bring the chin up to face the ceiling a little. Just be gentle with that. Don't overdo it. Bring the chin back just to its natural level before you bring your head back to the centre and then over to the left. Again, left, lengthening that left ear to the shoulder but keeping the shoulders away. Again, you can just always draw the chin upwards a little just to give yourself a little sinus clearing action. And then bring your chin level, so just where it falls naturally, and then come back to the centre, and then one more time to the right. And again, you can look up or just look forward. And then just look forward and then come back to the center and then go from the left to the right. So from the right to the left. Bless your neck, you're sneezing away. Draw your chin up to the seat. And then reset the neck and the chin and then come back to the centre, hold onto your knees, lift up into the chest, draw in your shoulders down away from your ears, take a deep inhalation in through the nose, and then turn to the right side, draw in your abdomen across, your ribs and your shoulders, just observing how it feels for your spine this morning. Is there more or less resistance than previous mornings? Just breathe in through the nose and out through the nose, listening to the breath. Come back to the centre, hold on to your knees, lift up into the chest. Just take a deep inhalation and then turn to the left. And then gently come back to the centre. Come off your left and sit back on your heels and come into Adamuka Virasana. So sit on the heels, just wriggle into the heels so that the outer buttock comes into the inner heels. Roll in the heels out a little, lift up into the chest, elevate the heart area upwards, and then. Come forwards, let's come forwards gently, listening to the breath. If there's restrictions in your forward extension, if your back is uncomfortable, for example, then put a block underneath your head. Keep the head lifted for as long as you can as you come forwards, stretching forwards. And then finally bring the forehead down or use the block underneath your head. Just listen to the breath as, you, as it enters and as it exits.
hitting the heels down to the floor lengthening from the hips into the armpits into the elbows into the wrists into the palms and come up onto your knees have your hands as wide apart as the mat turn your toes under have the feet as wide apart as the mat and then come up into dog down so come up into dog down and then just feel where your dog down is maybe sometimes it's useful to come up with straight legs and then maybe you observe where there is resistance maybe then you bend your knees and tilt the tailbone up to the ceiling lifting the tailbone and the seat bones up towards the ceiling and then re-straighten the legs just observe how your body responds to the pose if you're not doing dog down then do dandasana activating your legs pressing the th fronts of the thighs through to the backs of the thighs the fronts of the knees through to the backs of the knees the shins through to the calves you can always use a belt around your feet if you're doing dandasana just to help you to lift up into the chest just breathing even deep inhalations and exhalations and then step your feet forwards come up into standing position and then get a couple of blocks for your hands for half foot So bring your feet as wide apart as your mat, turning your toes in. Have your hands on your hips and lift up into the chest. Elevate the heart area up to the ceiling, drawing your shoulders, um, you're drawing your elbows towards each other. So the fronts of the shoulders open, lift up into the chest, hinge at the hips, keeping the head lifted, keeping the back straight so the action comes from the hips, from the seat bones lifting away from the backs of the thighs and then bring the hands onto the blocks. Just be on fingertips, tighten your kneecaps. Press the fronts of the thighs through to the backs of the thighs, turn the fronts of the thighs inwards. Lift the seat bones, lift the seat bones, the tailbone up to the ceiling, projecting the chin and the chest forward. Just breathing even deep inhalations and exhalations. If you can go down lower, then do. But if that aggravates your back, then stay at the higher lift. Breathe in through the nose and out through the nose, projecting the chin and the chest forwards, hitting the legs away. Can you lift your toes? So the feet stay on the floor, but lift the toes off the floor. It really makes you sharpen the action of the legs, doesn't it? So can you lift? The seat bones away from the backs of the thighs. Can you push the fronts of the thighs through to the backs of the thighs? Can you extend the chin and the chest forwards? And then release the toes, bring your hands into your hips, bend your knees on the way up if you need to, and then come up into a standing position. Move your blocks out of the way, and then come up into, into, a, into, tan, into Tadasana. So the inner edge of the feet together. Lift it up into the chest, elevating the heart area up to the ceiling. Taking deep inhalations and exhalations through the nose. Turn the palms 
all the way out, just broadening the front of the chest, tuck the tailbone in, draw the belly button towards the spine. Bring your arms out nice and wide in towards your chest and then step or jump your feet apart. Turn your left toes in, your right leg and foot all the way out. Bring the chest to face the front and then just down, reaching down, turning the chest to Trikonasana. Looking up if you can. Just feeling where your body is in three dimensions. Lifting the chest, squeezing that front leg buttock bone forwards. Activating that back leg deeply. Breathing in and out through the nose. back to the center swap the feet around turn the right toes in left leg and foot all the way out and then come down it's tricking us on the other side so remember you can always adjust the position of your feet so that that front foot comes forwards of the back foot if you've got stiff hips and remember you can always bring that front foot forwards. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose, listening to the breath. And then come back to the centre, bring your feet parallel. And then step or jump feet back together and then just come into Tadasana, just observing the breath, just listening to the breath, just feeling the energy you have released through your practice so far. Just feeling your body's response to the pose. Listening to the breath. Bring your arms out nice and wide in towards your chest and then step or jump your feet wide from Prasarita Padottanasta. Have the heels in line with the edge of the back edge of the mat and then turn your toes in. Have your hands on your hips and be conscious that the hips are the hinge of the pose. So lift up into the chest, really firmly activate your legs, tightening your kneecaps. And then come forwards, gently hinging at the hips. You might need blocks for your hands if you can't reach the floor. But just working to project the chin and the chest forwards. Breathe in through the nose and out through the nose, listening to the breath. Soften the jaw and your tongue and your throat. Lift the seat bones as high as they'll go away from the backs of the thighs, away from the floor. Lifting the tailbone up to the ceiling. Project the abdomen towards the diaphragm region, towards the collarbone, towards the chin. Just listen to the breath. If you can go down lower, then bring your head down to the floor, your hit the heels of your hands in line with the heels of your feet. Just see how that feels for you, but just use blocks for your head if you need to, or just stay at the first stage, keeping the legs straight, legs straight is the priority, so just stay in the first stage if you're more comfortable there. And then lift the head, 
come back to the center bring the heels of the hands down onto the floor and then step or jump the feet back together and then come back up into Tadasana inner edge of the feet together and then raise your arms up to turn sideways to this the ceiling height, raise the arms up in Urdhva Hastasana. Just breathe in even deep inhalations and exhalations. Just listen to the breath. And then gently just bring your hands back down to the sides. And then come down into Sapta Badakanasana. Just come down onto your back. Pulling the feet in towards you. Letting the knees fall apart. And then rest yourself down into the floor just breathing even deep inhalations and exhalations if there's stiffness in your hips put blocks on the outsides of your thighs just listen to the sound of the breath as it enters and as it exits Stretch your arms to the ceiling, interlock the fingers right into the webbing of the hands, turn the palms all the way out, squeeze the outer elbows in, and then lengthen your arms along the floor beyond your head. If there's stiffness in your shoulders, then put maybe a folded blanket underneath your hands or some blocks just to support the shoulders. Otherwise, just allow the body to Extend along the floor. Just feel how the seat bones connect to the ground. Oh, sorry, not the seat bones, the sacrum connect to the ground. The abdomen needs to draw into the spine, broadening out into the abdominal walls in order to bring a softer action into the lumbar softening out the arch of the spine just breathing in through the nose and out through the nose raise your arms up to the ceiling swap the interlock of your fingers so that you do the unnatural interlock and then lengthen your arms along the floor again And then release your arms, just rest your hands on your lower ribs. Just observe the breath as it enters and as it exits. Feel the lungs from the bottom to the top, breathing into both lungs evenly. And empty both lungs from the top to the bottom.
and then very gently draw your knees towards each other your knees together and your feet apart And then draw your knees in towards your chest. Just have a little rock from top to bottom, from side to side, just a gentle massage on the spine. And then just roll over onto your right side and then sit yourself up. Just come back down into just come into a seated position for a moment. So we can do Supta Adangatasana one and two so you'll need a belt and just hopefully just try and get yourself space at the sides of you so you can stretch your leg out to the side when we get to that so just come down onto the floor just make sure you're in a good straight line right down the center of the mat and then guide yourself down onto the floor have a belt for your um, for your leg and then just along the floor activate your legs like you're pushing your heels into the wall beyond you like you're in Tadasana activating the legs so that they turn the thighs inwards so that the backs of the calves want to kind of slide away from each other press the kneecaps into the floor and just feel when you really activate your legs your lumbar spine it really arches so you can even probably get your hands behind your lumbar so in that using those active legs i want you to lengthen the sacrum away from the lumbar the sacrum spine is just above the tailbone so draw that away from the lumbar draw the tailbone towards the ceiling Draw the abdominal flesh across out to the abdominal walls. Just breathe in through the nose and out through the nose, keeping those legs activated. Bend up your right leg, but keep your left leg really firmly activated if you can. Hook the belt around that right foot and then straighten that leg with the belt around the ball joint of the foot. So. Try and maintain the action of that left leg that you've left along the floor. Press the fronts of the thighs through to the backs of the thighs. Turn the fronts of the thighs consciously inwards. Drawing the fronts of the thighs inwards just gives you a little bit of space in your hips. Just feel where the hips are. Has that lifted leg hip gone higher up? as in towards the armpits than the other. So lengthen from the right armpit into that right hip. Lengthen that hip away. But keep turning the thigh inwards. They're kind of, they kind of feel like contrary reactions, don't they? Push the foot into the belt. Pull the belt towards you. Have your arms straight at this stage. So reach as close to the foot as you can. Just look at the way that you're raising that foot. Is the little toe side of the foot higher up than the big toe? If it is, then turn the front of the thigh a little more and then lengthen from the inner groin into the inner heel. Do the same action with the leg that you've left on, on the floor. Just breathing in through the nose and out through the nose keeping that leg straight so if you struggle to straighten the leg just give it a little bit more rope <clears throat> don't pull the leg beyond 12 o'clock so by 12 o'clock i mean directly pointing up towards the ceiling take hold of both ends of the belt with your right hand and then bring your left hand onto your hip Try and keep that left leg firm like it is now. And then bend your right elbow out in line with your shoulder, bringing that leg out to the side. The leg shouldn't reach the floor. 
try and get the big toe in line with your ear so that gives you a sense of where the leg should be going if you give yourself too much rope on this then your foot comes more like in line with your knee and then you don't really get this right type of stretch so turn the thighs inwards feel that you can really activate into that left leg draw the abdomen from the right to the left a little breathing in through the nose and out through the nose and then bring that leg back to the center just reset everything with the leg up in the air and then unhook the foot and then just rest that leg down onto the floor just allowing the body to rest into the floor just feel how that right leg feels really different to the left maybe it feels longer or like it sinks into the floor more willingly maybe it feels like it's sunken into the floor so just represent shows you how we energize the body just reset the legs in tadasana so have the inner edge of the feet touching activate the kneecaps the thighs stretching from the hips into the heels make sure that you're in a good straight line just have a quick look up make sure that you're in a good straight line and then keep that right leg really firmly activated while you bend the left knee and hook the belt around the left foot and then raise the leg up to 12 o'clock so again just trying to aim for straight legs tighten the kneecaps on both legs turn the fronts of the thighs inwards just again feel where that lifted leg hip is is it closer to the head than to the foot is it closer to the head than the other hip so lengthen that hip away from the left armpit so that action makes it feel makes you feel like you turn the leg the lifted leg outwards just go with that for a moment until the hips feel like they're level and then go back to turning the thigh inwards again keep that leg that's along the floor really firmly activated just listening to the breath and then take hold of both ends of the belt as close to the foot as you can and then bend your left elbow out in line with your left shoulder resting your right hand on your hip for stability bringing that leg out to the side we're trying to bring the the toe the big toe in line with the ear or as close to it as we can get it so once you're you brought your leg out to the side again it shouldn't be reaching the floor once you bring that leg out to the side just feel that you can really activate into that right leg draw the abdomen from the left to the right a little just breathe in through the nose and out through the nose listening to the breath so Supta Padangatasana 2 and then bring that leg back to the center just come back into padangatasana one and then just unhook the leg and then let the legs just rest into the ground just breathing in through the nose and out through the nose listening to the breath and then just 
pull your knees in towards your chest just have a little rock from side to side from top to bottom and then pull the knees pull the feet into the into the seat bones and then let the knees fall into body body canasana for a moment again just using blocks on the outsides of the thighs if you need them just resting into the ground just feeling how the hips feel different maybe they feel like you've given them more space maybe they don't just observe how they feel how they feel different to how we began and then draw your knees together have your knees together your feet apart for a moment just resting into the floor rest in your hips rest in your back and then roll onto your right side straighten out the top leg come up into a seated position just come into cross legs for a moment just come into swastikasana or half padmasana, whichever is most doable and comfortable. Sit on a lift if you need to. And lift up into the chest. Just find your balance. So maybe you need to just adjust the buttock flesh a little. Lift up into the chest, drawing your shoulders down. Take a deep breath in through the nose and then turn to the right side, drawing your abdomen across and your ribs across and your shoulders across. And then come back to the centre, hold onto your knees, lift up into your chest. And then turn to the left. Across and your ribs and your shoulders. And then gently come back to the centre. Just come down onto your back and have a folded blanket for underneath your head. Just lay yourself down along the centre of your mat. Just make sure you're in a really good straight line right down the middle of the mat. And then just allow your feet to fall apart, just supporting your head with a folded blanket, let your feet fall apart, just allow your legs to completely release. Let go of the hips. 
go to the side. And go to the knees and the shins. Let the skin soften, let the flesh soften. Let the muscles unhook and just allow the muscles to completely release. The muscles of the legs and the arms just become soft and jelly-like. Allowing the body to release into the floor. Maybe the body begins to feel heavy. So give in to that heaviness. Allow the body to become heavy on the ground. Because out of that heaviness comes a distinct sensation of energetic lightness that radiates out from the bones, feeding the muscles with positive energy. Healing the stiffness of the muscles bringing lightness into the muscles, radiating into the organs. So prayer, allowing that positive energy to penetrate the organs. Allowing that energy to penetrate into the flesh and into the skin. Just basking in that feeling of energetic lightness. Using your in-breath and your out-breath to distribute that feeling of energetic lightness down into the toes and into the fingers and into the top of the head. Just gently wriggle your toes, wriggle your fingers, just bring yourself back into this pose of Shavasana. And then draw your knees in towards your chest, just have a little rock from side to side, from top to bottom, just a gentle massage on the spine. 
and then roll onto your right side just stay down on your right side for a moment or two and then straighten out the top leg come back up into the seated position just a final cross legs with your hands in the master your final spinal lift Draw your breath in through your nose, down into the abdomen. Be conscious of the energy that you have released through your practice. A good, positive, healthy flow of clean energy that the extensions and the forward bends and the twists and the reclining poses bring to the body and to the mind. And then draw your chin down to meet your chest. Spend a moment to acknowledge the positive energy you have created inside. And then send some of that positive energy out into the world. the backs of your hands down towards your knees palms facing upwards and then as you raise your head allow your eyes to softly open and focus to softly come back thank you very much so hopefully you feel as though you've lifted your energy giving yourself good positive energy to 